Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra 310. And today I wanted to show you, I'm doing this anyway, so figured I might as well make a video on it. So I had a hose fail out on the water yesterday and it didn't really fail in the sense that it just exploded and the ski broke down or anything. What I noticed is I was doing some, you know, I was doing some extended full throttle runs and um, towards the end of my ride, I started feeling some belt slip. And I'm like, well, that's weird because I've got Versa plugs in my ski. So typically you don't have a lot of water in the ski. It, it drains out anyway. I'm like, so if the belt's slipping, you know, maybe something, the first thing I thought was, okay, maybe there's a hose that broke. So I stopped at the sandbar, took the engine cover off and the seats, left them on the sandbar and then went and did a couple runs and and uh, I didn't see much. I did see some mist. And I was like, well, that's really weird. And um, looking in there, I, I noticed there was salt water spray. See right there that, that there was salt water. And then all these hoses were covered in salt water. And I could see salt deposits all over everything. But the bilge was, was relatively dry. It had a bit of water in it from, you know, but, but it was relatively dry. So, you know... I inspected all these hoses and I'm going to try to get a good shot. So you could see this one just by pushing on it. I could get it to, to weep a little bit. See that right there? See that water coming out? There you go. So that hose failed. You can see that right there? That's just a pinhole. But that pinhole under, you can see it bubbling there. That pinhole under pressure is enough to squirt some water on your belt and, uh, cause it to slip and give you some funky, uh, you know, if you didn't realize that's what it was, you'd think maybe you have an engine problem. Luckily, they give you enough slack. So I'm going to be able just to cut it past this, this brake right here and not have to replace the hose. You can see the, the swelling of the hose that's due to, uh, you know, pressurizing and depressurizing cycles and also uh, WD-40 or protective anti-corrosive lubricant getting on the hose and softening that rubber over time. So, you know, hoses are a maintenance item. Don't forget about them. If you have uh, a ski with more than 100 hours on it or you have a ski that's more than a couple years old, especially if you if you use it very often and, and you ride hard, you know, these hoses are going to need to be replaced. All right, so here is our defective hose. We're gonna just find that, you can see that even better a little bit right there, that break. Using a tubing cutter, we're just gonna cut that right past the break. All right, so here's that little piece of hose. I went ahead and dissected it because I was curious to see what the inside looked like. So take a look at that rip in the hose. You see that it was almost ripped completely through, but it wasn't, it only, it presented as just that pinhole. But this hose was, you know, one or two rides away from just completely ripping. And this, I think, was, was caused from the uh, hose clamp pushing the hose against the brass fitting there. So now we're going to take our hose. Where did the clamp go? Did I lose the clamp? Where the fuck did I put the clamp? Here's the hose clamp. Just going to... Phew. Yeah, see, when the belt slips like that, it generates a lot of soot. Not that I didn't have some already in there. And now we're just going to reinstall our hose. Don't confuse it with your oil return line that goes to the, to the catch can there. In fact, those two are zip tied together. That's annoying me a little bit. That zip tie. So we're going to cut that zip tie off because it's annoying the shit out of me. All right, again, this line's very important. It goes to your crankcase. If you forget it or leave it, you'll get a bilge full of oil and ruin your engine. All right, so here's our clamp. You could really install it uh, however you want. What do the engineers know? And I was able to reuse the same hose because it has plenty of length, but uh, you know, over time, the hose itself will wear and uh, it's going to be something, you know, that, that uh, you're going to want to replace. 
If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.